Now, Rachel Garso with the On Your Side forecast. It is 518. Happy Friday. And what a 24 hour period it's been for weather, right? Not really eventful for us here in the Gem State, but off to the east. What a different story. So these are current temperatures, air reading temperatures. If you look at a thermometer or your digital reading, this is what it would say. Zero in Chicago, nine below in Minneapolis, four below in Detroit. 14 in Boston, 13 in DC. And remember, they're dealing with in some places a foot and a half of snow on the ground. Look what happens when I flip this over to the wind chills. We are talking about 20 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds in New England this morning, so it feels like negative seven in Boston. Look as you head towards the Great Lakes region, though negative 19 is the wind chill in Detroit. 16 below in Chicago it feels like 22 below in Minneapolis. Another absolutely breathtakingly cold start. We're sitting at 29 in Boise, so ironically we are a little milder than we've been in mornings past. And look at this. You would almost never know that storm rolled through. It moved very quickly, but get this. It dropped two to three inches per hour in some places yesterday and did not let up. That snow didn't for about five hours. Right now, Canada bearing the brunt of the storm, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. There were 100 mile per hour wind gusts recorded in Nova Scotia as this system approached and the wind is really going to be the big story for folks here in New England today. Just that biting cold and as they're struggling to get around in those flooded streets, Everything is icy, tons of snow on the ground. Look at some of these snow totals in the towns of Dedham and Hopkinton, Massachusetts. They picked up 19 inches of snow just yesterday. Dover, Delaware, 13 inches. Central Park in New York City has over eight inches. Atlantic City in New Jersey picked up over a foot, 14 inches there in one day. So just some crazy snow on the ground. Look what's happening here in Southwest Idaho. Not much. We have cloud cover streaming through. We'll have another mostly cloudy day. We didn't need the sunglasses as much yesterday, right? Had a little few little peaks of sunshine, but that was it. The moisture is really going to be our big story for the next 24 hours here in Idaho. It's not hitting us yet. It's confined right now to the West Coast, but we're not going to escape it for much longer. So this is mid morning. Now we may see a quick moving little burst. If you're on the West end of the Valley, Weezer, Ontario, you may see some sprinkles, likely some freezing rain, some light mountain snow will start up and kind of linger off and on throughout the day today. But by tonight, this is nine o'clock. Here comes that big push of precipitation. So it'll start about nine o'clock, really kind of get heavier heading into the overnight hours. This is midnight Saturday. So if you're out late or if you're just at home, you may hear the raindrops on your roof. It'll be a little louder if it is that freezing rain because they kind of freeze on impact by early tomorrow morning. The precipitation will be done in the valley. If it's been freezing rain, it will be very slick out there. It'll coat those roadways. It'll look just wet, but it'll be icy. So use some caution tomorrow morning. Kind of test the waters as you head out. Take it slow at first. Twin Falls will have the rain tomorrow morning. The snow will continue, especially in the eastern mountains early in the day Saturday. And then by Saturday night, we'll have some lingering cloud cover, but the precipitation will be done. And as far as some of the rain totals go or the precipitation totals go, my map has been a little iffy this morning. It's not going to fill in. There we go. But we're looking at possibly nearing half an inch for places like Ontario, three tenths of an inch for Boise, and a lot of the precipitation you see up here in the mountains, of course, will be snow. So ironically, the precipitation tomorrow is coming with a cold front, which will allow our temperatures to warm. It'll scour out the inversion. We'll get kind of back to where we should be. So for today, a little bit milder than we were yesterday by just a couple of degrees, 37 or high for Boise, 36 tomorrow with that rain in the morning, and then look at Sunday, just a beautiful winter day, mostly sunny skies and a high of 39 to end the weekend.